Hello and welcome to this Emacs based uh, screencast. Today I wanted to show off a new feature that I added to Lispy, um, Lispy mode, which you see it's already enabled here, uh, which I find useful during um, debugging of this code. Um, first, let's go over some basics of Lispy. So if you don't know what it does, it's, uh, let's say that I he have here uh, J. If I press the letter J, it just uh, self inserts, but uh, in case I'm here, um, inserting J doesn't make sense, so it, I can just use it for commands. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just pl pressing plain letters when you are uh, before an open parent, that's the easiest thing. Also for regions, um, so if I press H, which is like the direction to go left, it will mark, the, mark to the left the current S expression. And so if I keep pressing it, it will extend the selection. Uh, or if I press, uh, for instance, I, it will step in and then uh, J goes like this. So that's just the basics of let's be, um, so the, how you get into the special state, uh, there, there are a few keys. I uh, usually use this one or I use this one. Uh, no, not this one, but this one. Um, okay, uh, so the function that I'm interested in is uh, this one, and I wanted to change something about that has to do with uh, lengths of strings. So what I do now is I search within the function for something. For this, I use the letter y, and I say here len, and I actually want this one. Um, so what I would like to do here is uh, bind a few, let bind a few variables and make the code a bit less messy and uh, maybe add a bit of new logic. So what I do here is I press XB to bind a variable. Uh, what it does is, uh, uh, so here I have like a show parent mode, so it shows the delimiters of the current S expression. Oh, it's very handy. And uh, in this case, I, I see exactly what I will bind as the new variable, what will be the value of the new variable. So it will be exactly this. Uh, so I press XB, um, bind, like mnemonic for bind, XB. And I enter the name, for instance, uh, len. And, um, so you see here, this is I added. So uh, it just repeats uh, the stuff in uh, two fields at once. Uh, when I want to finish, I use the same uh, shortcut uh, as for marking the symbol, meta m. And now I'm out of I edit. And what I want to do here is I want to push this let because right now it encompasses just this one little uh, symbol and it's not very useful. The code is still correct, which is quite nice. It means uh, iteratively as I do the changes, the um, S expression still makes sense, and uh, that's like the base ba basics of uh, Lispy as well, uh, which is a nice concept uh, that you start with an invariant and you keep it after the transformation. So normally, the way I would do it before is I would convolute. Um, convolute changes the order of the first two containing expressions. So now you see that this let now encompasses a slightly bigger expression around the one that I had before and then I would press H to uh, extend it and then I would just go LH, LH, I uh, mean CH, CH, convolute, uh, left, convolute, left uh, but that's, that's a bit annoying so uh, the new key X does uh, just that, CH so that's a shortcut see how it does um, increase always the S expression on which we are operating, the, the one that let encompasses and pushes let uh, always uh, up, uh, upstairs. So more and uh, I think that's it. This is enough. So I unmark with uh, M and then I want to bind another length which is uh, or maybe I, I could search it like this again but that searches the whole fun. I could also press Q for a like uh, so Q is also a very useful for navigating and I want to bind this uh, in the same way as I did before so I press uh, XB and I name this len D uh, mark and then just uh, exit until here and here is another new feature I have here two nested lets 
and I want to combine them into a single one so here I press the command uh, list, list key splice bound to this key and uh, I want to bind one more variable which is uh, here and I press uh, Y followed by W um, usually uh, the ace parent command uh, is a bit faster but this function is a bit ugly it has too much stuff inside and that's why you I need one more character uh, just to get where I want to go um, bind it XP um, something like this and then just uh, okay and then I want to combine it with uh, this lead so yeah and now it's done um, now I want to modify this expression maybe I can even narrow it down to just this so that, 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 that this is what I'm working on right now um, as I see here uh, here's a predicate um, bit complex one even I can uh, okay window width so don't need it anymore I have it bound to www um, and uh, this is actually the same so it can be put outside of the if so here's how I do it uh, I flow inside the uh, uh, S expression and now I can convolute so this will move here and if will exchange so that's just one letter C and then this becomes uh, not needed anymore so I can step down flow inside and raise and uh, just remember to look up the key sequence if uh, you want to learn how to do that and um, uh, now I want to add one more uh, predicate and one more thing to do if it matches so uh, three predicates for me as a rule I always want to, con uh, to have a cond expression and uh, for this I press XC to turn an if into a cond um, I can turn it back with, back with uh, XI and uh, here I can simply clone this one and uh, modify it until I get what I want so in this case I want to compare just this expression with window width and then in this case uh, I want to add here also a new line and in this case I want to remove this and uh, add this so I go OK and um, this is not needed anymore yes this is a predicate that I want and in this case I want to have the new line not here but but here okay and now the code makes sense to me I, I can widen again um, if I widen then the indentation becomes bad I can always fix the indentation by pressing I and save it so um, now I can reevaluate this code and uh, maybe even uh, show you what it does uh, this was uh, part of the file navigation in Ivy basically what happens here is uh, if I'm say here and I want to enter a file name this new line has to be added so it doesn't scroll all the way to the left hiding the prompt uh, and uh, this is the, uh, the edge case uh, for which uh, two new lines need to be added so that's basically the new logic that I added and uh, being able to let bind a variable I think it's uh, quite nice to be able to do it quickly and uh, more importantly the without fault so I'm always sure that the parents will be properly balanced uh, that uh, these delimiters do what they are supposed to do there is no nothing hanging around or uh, no confusion uh, it's just a structural manipulation of uh, S expressions which I quite enjoy uh, doing uh, in Lisp and uh, especially with the Lisp mode. So um, that concludes the, today's uh, screencast. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.